Welcome everyone to a brand new episode in Cyber Slam. Today we are kicking things off here hot with an Iron Man match. The following contest is an Iron Man match and is for the Internet Television Championship. Introducing the challenger from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. And his opponent, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, he is the Internet's Television Champion, Edge. Oh my goodness, we are just kicking things off with an iron man match and we are one week away from the rumble that's right it's next week y'all next week and for the ttv title there'll be a mini 10 man royal rumble match for the ttv title the rules are simple it's a royal rumble so all the major royal rumble rule applies but whoever is the ttv champion will get that number 10 spot so you know high chance of keeping your title but who will be in that 10 spot will it be edge will it be jd mcdonald we will find out right now here 15 minutes on the oh my goodness oh my goodness we are we are uh we are getting getting wild out here first move of the match and JD McDonough is already seeing blood. I thought I hired JD McDonough and not John Moxley. Let me just check. Yes, that is JD McDonough indeed. Um, oh, big drop kick. Big drop kick. Like I said, 10. Man, oh, we see. Oh, Rock behind him. I thought he was going for Spanish fly, but he switched it up. Like I said, and JD McDonough. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. You don't usually see this kind of offense from JD McDonough. Of course, like I said, 10 men Royal Rumble for the TTV title. Last participant will be the TTV title. But in addition, in addition news, whoever loses this match, the loser of this match will be entering at number one. That is right. So number one, number 10 spots are for grabs. Nice German suplex. To get the first fall, only a one. So not only will this match crown the TTV champion, but a lot of stakes for next week's 10-man Royal Rumble are also on the line here. Kind of a winner-takes-all situation and loser, well, yeah. Big cake there. A lot of, a lot of implications going to Royal Rumble. Trying for the DT's edge. McDonough fighting out of it and McDonough oh he's seen that he's seen that story one too many times we have seen it also as well the Spanish fly or even the rock bottom edge counters impel DDT quick hook of the leg here McDonough kicks out we are at the 12 minute mark here and uh oh, Edge going up top. This didn't bode well for him last time. It works this time as JD McDonald was not able to see that clothesline. I guess. Yes, you are a brain, Edge. We all are. It's just how much we want to use it. All right. Anyways, and Edge now brawling on the outside as McDonald sends him into the ring here. And McDonald services situation. Edge quickly rushing out. McDonough kidney shot there. As, holy hell! On the head! Edge was pointing at his brain earlier. Well, that wasn't... That wasn't a really... A point to a brain moment. You know what I'm saying? Oh, here comes Edge. Oh! Right into that power slam. And... Take to the back. So far, no falls in this match so far. We're just about one third done in this match. A big elbow to the back. 
Remember, Kana also counts as a point here. So that is something to take note here. As the referee continues to count, counter McDonough. McDonough goes back in the ring here. Just looking at the edge. Oh, was he thinking he he? I don't know if he was looking for a top rope move there. He was heading towards the turnbuckle. As slowly, McDonough approaches edge. Sends a face first into the turnbuckle. And McDonough working on the leg. The leg was worked on there. Oh, big headbutt. And oh, what a move. Could this be it? The first fall. Bid two no not yet. This is not the first fall. And McDonough now stalking edge here. What does McDonough have in mind? Oh, we've seen this before. He's put away edge in the first match. He hits him. Center of the ring. No. Oh my goodness. No one wants to give an inch. No one wants to, you know, oh, big headbutt. No one wants to take the first fall. Headbutt McDonough quickly running up to the top. Big stop. Simple, deadly, and effective. And I'm not talking about pretty deadly here. Moonsault with a pin. Moonsault with a pin. Edge still not letting McDonough get the first fall here. And McDonough must be... Must be questioning himself after all that offense and Edge still kicks up, but Edge might be on his, you know, last guess as he goes to the outside. But McDonough, oh, we saw that last week as well. It didn't connect. It's the same story this week. If it ain't broke, you don't fix it. But if it's broke, you better jolly well fix it. Oh my goodness. McDonough needs to learn that lesson and Edge is teaching him a hard lesson to learn. And as you can see, Edge here. And just working on McDonough while the count is, I believe, at five here. And all oh, this, just this, goodness, this headbutt. Oh, but McDonough no sold. No, so he says, screw your, screw your stupid little headbutts. As they both enter the ring at the same time. McDonough quickly, Irish whip on the offense of Edge. And he knows how to throw an Irish whip as well because you know why? My man's Irish. Oh my goodness. You gotta know if you're Irish and you're throwing an Irish whip, you're finished. McDonough quickly on the rolling on the outside. Edge now maybe trying to do a dive. And hits it perfectly. Ass to face on that dive. Ass to face. And now working on McDonough on the outside. We have we are Casual, we are going into the eight-minute mark of the match, and still no point between these two um, participants here. Big DDT on the outside, so devastating. Absolutely head crutching. What exactly? Oh, headbutt. He no sold this earlier. Edge was pissed. He said, "You better sell this, you idiot." And he does sell it. Edge now sending McDonough in the inside ring. And Edge going up top. We rarely see this, but big elbow to the back. Might be necessary in this case. Could be getting the fall here with a pin. And first fall goes to Edge. McDonough on the back foot here. And he is struggling. He is struggling. Edge might get another fall here with the impale of DDT. Don't know if foot's on the rope. I don't think it is. Referee's not checking. Wow. Two falls in quick succession here. McDonough has got a lot of ground to gain. He tried for the head, but it didn't work. Missed the punch. McDonough has, has been sloppy after going down to... Uh-oh. If, if Edge hits this, it might just be all but over here. McDonough needs to counter this. No, he doesn't. Gets hit with that spear. Oh, my goodness. That's got to be three. Yes, three count, three falls. McDonough's really got all to work for here. I don't know if he can get it. And we are just under seven minutes here. And all oh, edges. Edges. This is what you call sending a statement. Oh my goodness. Another spear. My God. And 
another fall here. That's four. I, I'm surprised I can't even count that high. Oh my god. Got four for McDonough. That might be the opening he needs. Oh, head. Onto the head of Edge. But he needs four pinfalls within six minutes here. And I genuinely don't think that is um, that is doable, unfortunately. I'm a McDonough. Don't think Edge. What does he have in mind? Oh, we've seen him hit this on Edge before. Connects. With a pin. Two. And gets one back. But I, like I said, I don't know if that's enough. McDonough needs to work on the offense. I mean, that is offense, but... I, I mean, Edge is really struggling. Not in that... In this move, I, I don't know what, what's the strategy. Even the crowds are in shock, and so am I. Oh my goodness, that was terrible offense. That move, ladies and gentlemen, that move might just cost him this whole entire match. -er. If he hit a major impactful move, fine, that will do it. But oh no, and speaking of impactful move, he counters. McDonough finally learns the counter. Could this be the turning point? Now, oh, McDonough got a job again. Slams him down again. Quick hook the leg. Referee running around the world. It does not matter. McDonough gets a pin. We are five minutes on the way here. Two points separate McDonough from Edge. Will he get there? Edge misses the kick. McDonough needs to take advantage here. He does with the Irish whip. Oh, nice arm drag there. Very nice. Oh, but he failed to follow up with McDonough, and now he's going to pay the price. If I was Edge, I would just be in defensive mode. You know, that might be a smart strategy here. Oh, he... Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Three, back to a three-point difference. But McDonough determined he has four minutes. What can he do with this four minutes? Roughly, he needs to get a fall every minute to win... To Win the match, which I just don't think is possible, if I'm being completely honest. Big headbutt. Big throw. Big throw. No, what are you doing? Stop punching the air. You, you're you're not facing the air. You're facing edge. Oh, I don't know what McDonough's doing here. He's just wasting a lot of time, in my opinion. Should have went for a cover there if I, if I was him. Probably couldn't get a pin. But no, he picks up edge. And slams him right down. Surely there has got to be a tree, but the time limit, you know, you're working with the time limit here, you know. That, oh, an edge counter as well. And McDonald's slow to follow up from the counter. Flapjacks, God damn it! I'm looking for some pancakes now. I blame the New Day for this and Edge. You know, McDonald in the corner, but with a counter is JD McDonald. Nice Harikarana. You gotta start moving, JD. Stop with the taunting. Mama, you're smiling now, but you're down to stop. You're not Donkey Kong. Come on now. Stop beating your chest. JD McDonald needs some offense here. He needs to stop the back to the head. If he ain't bro to fix it, an edge. I think sensing desperation here. He's crawling to the apron. And, oh, but Edge counters. Very smart veteran maneuver there. But McDonough not phased by it. They collide with each other. Edge. Uh-oh. What the world is this? You don't think... Holy hell, a Canadian destroyer! When did he ever do that? I don't, I don't think I even saw Sexton Hardcastle do that. Big knee to the back. We are less than 2 minutes and 30 seconds away here. And all I'm going to say is it's not looking good for McDonough at the moment. Unless something happens to him. Unless he gets an offense. Big Spear! From the middle rope. Oh my god. That's got to be devastating. Not only does it hurt McDonough. It hurts his confidence. Big drop kick though. 2 minutes away. McDonough, you got to focus. No, stop. Stop zenning or whatever. I don't know what you're doing, but it's... <laughs> Gotta focus, McDonough. That's it. 1 minute 45. I genuinely... He needs 
to get pinfalls in there. He needs to get in pinfalls. He needs to get moving. And he might have just listened to commentary. Two. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen. One point separates with less than a minute and 30 seconds. McDonough ducks. It's getting intense. To the neck. Oh my goodness. It's going to come down to the wire. Can McDonough get anything in? Big forearm. But he needs quick offense. Quick offense and quick pinfalls. Edge trying to play defense here, just hitting whatever move he can. Oh, he might be thinking spear. No. No spear, but Edge is on the offense. Less than a minute to go. Can McDonough mount something here? Can oh Edge is speaking of mounting. Edge is mounting offense here. 45 seconds on the clock, and Edge with a comeback. McDonough is in survival mode here. Well, he might not survive after that in play the DDT. 30 seconds on the clock here. 30 seconds. Oh, Edge is going for a pin here. This is not looking good if you're McDonough. Yeah, that probably seals the match there if I'm being completely honest. I don't see McDonough coming back in that time. But well done to both competitors. Edge. Going for statement here. Trying to get another pin. No, only a two. And that's it. The time is going to run out here. There we go. That is it. And oh, he tried for a spirit. The last moment there did. Edge. And here we have it. Still your TTV champion. Still your TTV title heading into Royal Rumble as the number 10 entrant into the TTV title Royal Rumble match is Edge and number 1 is JD McDonough. What a match. We Are we back? Are we back? Okay, we're back. Good. I don't know what the hell that was happened last week as well. But anyways, we are back to the ring here. Oh my god, the ring is on fire. No, I'm kidding. It's just Kevin Nash. Up next here, we got a little bit of a preview of the triple threat. Um, the triple threat world title match happening at the Royal Rumble between Jan Mega, Kevin Nash, and our champion Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now more on our champion a little bit later on as he will be in our main event today defending that world title just one week before the rumble so you gotta be kidding me that's right the world title picture can be turned upside down here if austin loses all right but anyways that that is the situation we will get to later on but right now two competitors in the world title match at the rumble are facing off here let's see what happens now like i said last week the x factor of young mega with mr mcmahon in the corner here today but scorpion in the corner of kevin nash in support of his tag team champion or partner depending on how you look at it you know but yeah remember those two people are not allowed at ringside during the triple threat match at rumble and this is all for momentum yes young mega so far the start Taking the punch kicks and all the offense to Kevin Nash. That might be a drop kick to the quad there. That might be very... Oh, back of Kevin Nash's head might have hit the steel steps there. But that's not as devastating as a quad injury. Neon Mega so far in control. Just taunting on the outside here. You wonder... Oh my god, big DDT on the outside. You wonder... If any of the managers are going to get involved here. And also take note that this. Oh there you go. Nash with a counter. Take note that this match. You know might also weaken up your. Royal Rumble opponents a little bit. If you're not. If you are able to do enough damage. But the count set 7 now. Do these two even care about this match. Or just, do I just want to. Just hurt the other. I guess they do care about this match. Because they are both. Heading to the ring here as Nash easily lifts up Jan Mega and slams him across the ropes 
We have a big hook of the leg, but only a one count. Only big one. Nash running here. Don't usually see that. Oh, big man splash. He's, he's so big. He's so big, you know. Nash with a big punch. And oh no, he's so big with that splash. Jan Mega taking two of that splash and not very good for his ribcage. Oh, oh, the quad. Not the quad. That's like his what? 70, 77th quad injury. Oh, pin after that slip. No. In the rope. It's Nash. And oh, big forearm. Here comes Jan Mega with another big forearm. And Nash is... Oh, oh, what a Pele kick. Nash is down. Nash is down. Oh, my God. Look at the strength. Yeah, I'm making the strength. Oh, nice strength here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, what a move. Hook the leg. Nash... Where's the ref? What was the ref doing? Doesn't matter. Yeah, Mega might have clean. Not have Nash down and out there. My goodness. That's a statement. Proving that he don't need the help to get it done. Jan Mega. With some momentum heading into the world title match at the Rumble. Will he be holding that world title after the Rumble? Well, that was weird. Apparently there was some weird screaming there in the entrance. Oh. Why, why does she have weird screaming people in her entrance? The following contest is a four-woman battle royal! Making her way to the ring, representing damage control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai! Well, weird intro sounds aside, we have a four-woman battle royal to determine the final spot. That's right, the final spot in the women's royal rumble here. And now I think I figured out. I figured out why that was weird screaming sounds because it is because we are about to watch a Dakota Kai match. That's just someone's reaction to that information, I guess. That they are about to watch a Dakota Kai match. Anyways, let's see who's up next here. Oh my goodness. Release the farts. Release the farts. That. Oh my god. When I said release the farts, I was just kidding. Look at that toxic smoke there that ain't just weed i'm telling you oh my goodness well heller is here everyone and well heller is here everyone and apparently well heller is coming look at all the who the hell farted like like what on earth i barely can see her through these the gas smoke there and some of you are pretty sure toxic because see this green color here oh my god from that angle she was controlling the smoke she's she truly said we don't want the smoke and literally said get out of my way i'll be i'll be very i'll be very careful if, if i wasn't val heller in this match because if she can do that to smoke what can she do to human beings? Probably a lot, a lot worse. Unless if someone has something to say about that. Hey, yo, I'm gonna say she's staring at me as if, as if I was gonna do something. Well, I ain't big woman. You do your thing. What's with, what's with this intro? Whose music is this? Oh. Here we go, Eve Torres, ladies and gentlemen. I, you know what? I heard people complaining about she having this music in the game when you know the DLC entrance dropped or whatever. And I'm sitting here and I am just wondering, wh when did she have this music? She had like 17 different entrance themes. Like I just don't know when she used each one. And then they were like, oh. You know, they choose a crappy song from her. Which one's the good one? She had like 17 different themes. Elaborate. Anyways, Eve Thor is in the match. Oh my goodness. 
and I thought he thought in them he was in this match to about to do some business here comes someone who knows a lot about business a lot about the Eve row business a lot about rap business it is B fab you know B fab ladies and gentlemen I hope she took some skills from top dollar pun intended because top dollar might not go over the top bro so if B fab took some lessons from top dollar she she might not she might win this this four um, battle royal not only that but she's guaranteed to be a hot favorite we got hot oh my goodness that is a perfect nine out of ten all right but anyways if she took some advice from top dollar she probably winning the whole rumble it'd be a favorite as well and here we go this foreman set for the last spot what the hell okay we'll be back okay we are back there was some outage there but we are back we're gonna elimination that occurred earlier in the matchup here as you can see b fab not learning from top dollar as she was flung clean over the top rope by dakota kai and now we move back to live action here there's still three women remaining as we can see right here bell heller eve and of course the Kodak here. And you can see this is a double team that's happening here. Oh my goodness. Pick up the very small the Kodak, not very impressive, I'm being honest. Not impressive as it sounds because of the size of the Kodak. And Eve, oh hang on, Eve gonna eliminate Valhalla here. It seems like she does eliminate Valhalla. Oh my goodness, there she goes. That is Valhalla and Eve is taunting. I'm not sure this is the smart play here. Because it's still early on this in, in this match here. And oh, oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Glitches still seem to happen. As Eve taking punch. Oh, sassy slap at the end there. As Eve controlling the Kodakai, kind of sending her onto the ropes. The Koda tried to pull herself back in, but Eve was quick to eliminate the Koda. And now Eve Torres takes the final spot in our Women's Royal Rumble coming up next week to determine the new the, oh sorry, I said the first ever women's champion all right who will win you have to watch next you have to watch at the Royal Rumble to find out and speaking of Royal Rumbles we have some breaking news of some matches at the Royal Rumbles first of all we got a debut of Bray Wyatt at the Rumble and not only that we are also having a match between Kobe Rhodes and Kane but not only any match a big big tables match considering their recent past and their recent actions and speaking of Royal Rumbles we have not one not two but three big Royal Rumbles happening on the show all right that is a recap quick recap some matches happening at the Rumble but right now we're going back to action in CyberSlam here Still got matches to go. As you can see, Kane already at ringside. Green Mini just made his entrance here. And of course, these two involved in two different matches at the Royal Rumble. Of course, we got the we got Kane and Cody Rhodes as mentioned in a tables match. As I was saying, we got Kane and Cody Rhodes in a tables match at the Rumble, and also uh, we got Scorpion with his tag team partner Kevin Nash at the Royal Rumble there, taking on Green Mini and Logan Paul for those Twitch tag team titles, baby. Of course, that's going to be one huge match. Which, if you ask me, was is one of the most unpredictable and, you know, if you would tell me like a few weeks ago that Green Mini and Logan Paul were going to face off for the Twitch Tag Team titles against Scorpion and Kevin Nash, I'd tell you 
You be crazy, big man. You be crazy, alright? You be absolutely wild. They might have to interview you again to make sure they're actually telling the truth. Oh my goodness. Here we have this asshole. Man thinks he's Team 3D. But he ain't the tree, he ain't the D. He, there's no team in Cody Rose the last time I remember. But here he comes. He have a tag team partner for today. So this this tag match here. A little bit of a Royal Rumble preview here of two different matches. Of course, like I mentioned earlier, Scorpion and Green Mini will be in a tag match, but with different partners, obviously, at the Rumble. Oh my goodness. A lot more smoke. There's a lot of smoke in this arena. A lot of smoke in this arena. A lot of smoke with no mirrors. If you know, you know. Okay. But, oh my god, he's whacking the steps. Don't those, those are the same steps that he sent Green Mini into last week. I don't think Green Mini has forgotten that. So this match, probably some form of revenge for Green Mini here. Not only to get his hands an early preview of Scorpion, but also to get some revenge for the actions of last week. And speaking of the actions of last week, we will get to that in a bit right after this match here. Alright, but we, we got a very hot and very important team matchup that's going to happen right now. No obvious bragging rights, bragging rights on the line here. No titles, no, you know, no obvious bragging rights. But of course, you want that momentum going into the Rumble. Here. You want that. You just want the extra win, you know, to gain the upper hand on your rival. Just, you know, as a psychological factor going into the Rumble here. And in the early goings, Holy Rhodes. Continuing his assault on Green Mini here while Kane is just holy for Rainmaker. It ain't raining, at least not in this arena. I mean, you can't tell because it's a closed off arena. Big suplex there. And and Kane. Now, oh, he's got his hands on Green Mini. Uh, so got his hands on Cody here. Slaps him, double two handed chokes. I mean, oh, he. He ain't control. He ain't. He just going all in. Now, oh, now Scorpion, the only one left in the ring. This could be. Oh, hang on, me. I just realized that on the. Oh my God! I don't know. You want to be taking risks like that? Just one week away from the Royal Rumble. Also, a programming note. I should probably have done this or said this somewhere. I will probably say this by the time, or at least just right after this episode ash but royal rumble will be taking uh will be will be happening in parts basically so part one will be next week and then you know there'll be two parts every week so one will be uploaded midweek one will be uploaded at the similar start every single week you know on like the weekend so yeah uh but yeah um so because i don't want the royal rumble oh my god what happened there can just throw Cody rolls into space there, I believe, and uh, Scorpion does a bulldog. Green Mini does a backup cut of Cody there. Got some high octane action. Yeah, I, I wish the camera would focus to see it. Oh my god. Oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, here we go. Okay, semblance has been restored to the viewing, or I guess not, or I guess it is. Face first, go Scorpion there. Balls. Typical Cody Rhodes move the balls and big DDT on the outside, whereas Green Mini just ground and pound rolling. Not we've never really seen this type of intensive Green Mini ever. Big back ball, big sorry, big back clothesline there. He really wants that title and big suplex, back suplex there onto Cody. There's some moves in Green Mini's arsenal that. Don't think I've ever seen you before. I'm being completely honest. I missed the super kick though. The Scorpion now having a hold of Green Mini. What's this? Oh, what a move. Right on the ass. Sort of. Alright. Oh, speaking of on the ass, that is not the ass, but on the head. It's going. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my. 
good now. Nice. Look at that counter. And but look at the outside there. Oh, hang on. This action happening all over on the outside now. Scorpion getting some kicks in on Meanie. It's Cody Rose watches on for. He's viewing pleasure, I guess. I, I really don't know what was happening there. If I was being honest. My man, my man Cody Rose was just bored, I guess. I really don't know. He, he was. He went to Scorpion and he asked him, So, what do you want to talk about, I guess? But this is not the time for talking. And hang on, Meanie. Meanie, not again. Oh my goodness. He's done that the second time, man. Second time. He found nothing but the floor. Oh, that didn't found the floor door. That that move connected and it connected perfectly. It's as if the fall didn't happen there. And in the ring though is what matters. And Cody Rhodes just took down Kane with a spring ball drop. Okay, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. In the ring. Cr crossroads. Crossroads. Crossroads in the ring here. Rhodes. With the hook of the leg, Mini, what are you doing? Green Mini, but gets there in time. Oh, building up the suspense, I like it. Oh, big super kick. No suspense there. Big spear, though. As Cody gets up from the super kick. But Green Mini kicks out at a count of two. What a... What a resilient Green Mini here. Even though it's... Oh, no, now he's getting double team here. This is not looking good. Cody did not connect with the disaster kick as Scorpion was busy. Handing out the offense. And and Kane getting up on the outside, trying to get back in quickly. As he does. Well, Scorpio sorry, well, Green Mini deals with Cody Rhodes here. And oh. This might be a very smart veteran move from Kane, luring his opponents on the outside so that they cannot take advantage of Green Mini who's stunned in the ring. I like this offense, but Cody Rhodes now goes back into the ring. Sending Green Mini to the ropes. Big hip toss. And a, and a quick follow up pin here. Kane. Oh, but uh, but Green Mini very smart to grab the rope. Grab the rope. And score with cold yellow on the outside. Oh my goodness. On the man that big as well. He's so big. But he managed to pull it off. Mini in the ring. TKO. Scorpion doing some lucha. But Kane counters on the outside. Mini. Except Cody gets that back nightbreaker. Gets the back nightbreaker into the hook of the leg. And wow. We might have just witnessed a huge potential upset there. I don't think anyone was expecting that. Green Mini. With some more added momentum into that match. Getting a win there. And not only a win but a pen over Cody Rhodes. That has got to be huge. Will this momentum carry him into a tag team title win at the Royal Rumble? You have to wait to find out, I guess. And speaking of waiting to find out, last week we saw a vicious assault by Cody Rhodes on Logan Paul as he was trying to have Green Mini. On the next episode of Cyber Slam, they fix off in a steel cage. But right now, our main man here is for the Internet World Title. And look who is accepting the challenge oh my god it's doo -doo 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 -doo. you know who it is it is the whole oh here we go as if you don't know who he is who he is now you know i saw him on the AEW show what an AEW legend this is he had the very nice entrance team probably the best in the business Everyone was singing along to it. All the marks. Yeah, but can he dethrone our very dominant internet world champion here, who has been sitting comfortably on that uh, that throne for a really long time now? Yes, that is right. He is sitting. He is sitting very comfortably on that throne of his. Will Rob Van Dam be able to dethrone him? Never say never. And we know that in at the Royal Rumble event, there will be a triple threat match for that title that Austin's holding right now. We Kevin Nash in 
double pulling double duty because he's also in that of course the twitch tag team title match so at the end of the night we could see a double champion with kevin nash if he wins his triple threat internet world title match against austin and Jan mega of course one of the big matches happening at the royal rumble event There it is, there's the title. And of course, for our main event, we go to in ring introductions and look at that beautiful bell. Oh my goodness. Of course, for our main event, like I said, let's go to in ring introductions right now. Alright, there we go. That is what is on the line. Remember, Rob can throw a huge wrench into the plans of the Royal Rumble here if he wins that title. Unlikely, but it is possible. And don't forget, it's at this very arena, at this very event, that Rob did actually win the title from Cena. So you never know. Maybe there's something special about this arena. Can Lightning struck twice? Will 420 be the answer? I, I I don't know. I don't know. We have to wait and find out, I guess. Not looking good in the early goings, but I it, But he did, Rob doesn't seem to be phased by it in the early goings. Big throw. You don't really see Rob utilize power. Not much at least, but there was one occasion of it. Can he can he roll back the clock here? To those glory days. I mean, well, I guess, whoa, well, this guy's glory is a long pass, but you get my point. You get my point. And Austin just hammering on Rob on the outside. It's so early going, but very slow start, which might favor Austin here. I mean, it definitely favors Austin from what I'm seeing here. And oh no, not on the steps. Oh no, this is dangerous. Oh my God, speak of dangerous on the steps as well. He's in absolute pain and agony. My goodness, what a maneuver. And oh, I think there was balls right there. Austin with the balls. As Rob slowly walking back into the ring. I don't know if Rob is hurt or what, but he's walking really slowly, really gingerly. Might not bode well, but he, he mounts some offense there with that power slam and a quick pin here. Surprise pin. Got Austin on a two there. I, I, you know what? I'm genuinely surprised by that. I didn't know. Oh, but well, that was a very, very short leap offense there. Or maybe not. Maybe not. I stand correct that here comes Rob. But Rob has to still do a lot of work. And maybe that might be the work he needs working on the. Oh my goodness. Hey, yo. Those kicks are wild. And oh, speak of wild. This is what Van Damme needs, this wild crazy offense that maybe not many people know how to predict and those kicks as well. Oh my goodness, those kicks just literally are coming out of nowhere, but Austin just needs Van Damme in the face there. Should be illegal, but I digress. And here comes Van Damme slamming Austin's head first into that barricade. Count of four. And Van Damme. Kind of taunting Austin into the ring there. Don't really see it that much, but Austin counters and was not faced and he blocks the knee. I don't know how. Balls. And Austin all. Big DDT in the center. Quick hook of the leg. Van Dam kicks out at one and rolls 
I thought I was gonna roll to the outside, but just only onto the rope. Big Irish whip. Oh, I don't know what Austin was trying there, probably for a loot test press, but couldn't connect perfectly with what he needed. But nonetheless, he got some backup offense in the form of hanging him across ropes like some clothes, like some dirty laundry. Oh my goodness. Now Austin, oh, Van Damme counters, whatever that was, probably talking trash in the corner, look at the strength here. My man, he's got strength for days, but Austin down, very nice move, no pen is made, but uh oh, is this what I think it is? Rolling thunder on, Austin is quickly going up top, no way, if this hit, this might, oh my goodness. Could it be it? Referee goes around the world. Count of two. That was only two, but I tell you, for a second, that was that hope. That was that belief, and now it might be gone. Not for leg sweep. Anything but a leg sweep. Only a one count. And now, oh, submission hole out of nowhere on Van Damme here. This might be the, this might be the move that Austin needs to just slow the pace down here because when them was literally flying But when them for counter gets a really awkward looking monkey flip I mean if it ain't broke don't fix it and that look broke so please fix it It's getting the crowd into this again That might be what route needs the crowd so you know the crowd is very nice especially in this arena to rob they, they would smoke 420 with him if if they could. Vintage Rob into the corner, but Austin has seen all this movie before. He's been part of the movie through too, I guess. And no, no, not on the stack of dimes. He calls a neck, ladies and gentlemen. And that might not okay. Only a one count. There's still some. There's a, oh, I was gonna say there's still some. Maybe some gas level in the tank, but there's no gas level after that, if I'm being honest. You gotta be kidding me. How is he kicking out this? And Austin seems a little bit pissed by that, if I'm being completely honest. His reaction is a one of triggeredness and maybe even disrespect. I mean, I, uh, oh no, he's going up top. We don't really see this. Oh my goodness. He thought he was Macho Man there for a second. And oh, big chop. Big punch. And side Russian leg sweep on the outside. As Austin picks up Rob. Hammers him to the back there. Kind of three by the ref. And Austin just really going to town on Van Damme here. Not even letting him mount any kind of offense and working on that back from what I've seen. On a five. And after all that offense, he throws Van Damme into the ring. Van Damme must be aching from that back. He oh he's 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 sizing up. By God, of course. And that has to do it in my opinion. And it wasn't an easy victory, but he retains the title, which means it's going to be a triple threat match with Austin, Nash, Jan Mega at the Rumble. Right, and we are now looking full speed ahead at the Rumble. I'll see you guys at the Rumble. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next week. All right, y'all better get ready to Rumble. See y'all.